Hello everybody, Melting Explodes Bloodily here, and this is a video I did not expect to make, but here we are. The Annie patch is now live, I just bought the Seasons Pass, and I will be playing the Beta Branch. So, obviously, um, we're gonna be playing Annie, I'm gonna give opinions, but this video uh, in general is going to be an overview of Season 1 of Skullgirls. There were actually a lot of changes. I've been playing with this patch for a little bit, uh, probably an hour at this point. And I've read the patch notes. There are a lot of changes to the game right now. Firstly, uh, obviously Annie. Annie's in the game. So now we can see everything we wanted to see about Annie. Cool walk animation. Cool back walk animation. We already knew her dash animations. She has... Oh, she has a double light link. That's her medium punch. So this is... This is normal heavy punch. This is forward heavy punch. This is heavy kick. Um, that's her sweep. I was right. Yep, you can you can choose to do. Oh no, you can't choose to do the second hit. On whiff, it doesn't do the second hit, but on connect, it does the second hit. Um, let's see. Kicks. That's her light kick. Is that four hits? Hmm. Cool. That's her medium kick. I believe that has a string. Yep. Medium, medium. And then heavy kick. Which I already saw. Oh, she's got like Dragon Ball Fighters combos. Okay, and then crouch normals. L crouching light kick. Crouching medium <laughs> kick. And then crouching heavy kick. Crouching light punch. Crouching... That is an anti-air. Crouching medium punch. And crouching... Crouching heavy is that. Okay. Uh, let's... As I said, I have not actually played the character. Forward medium punch is the other one. That's the... What the fuck? Okay. So that's normals. Special moves. She's got... Like a fucking blast blue Ragna fireball. It slides. That. She's got a punch. It's a Rekka. Oh no, they gave her a Rekka. Oh lord, are there other button inputs? Does not appear to be. That does a lot of damage, holy shit. Uh... Does not look like she has any kick specials. She has a DP. Anything in the air. Oh, no, she does have kick specials. It's dive kick. This is not a command normal. Ah, so that's another Rekka. You do the other hits independent of the... And then I'm assuming you can cancel. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, is that all the special moves? This is just... You have to remember, too. This is a lot of my first... Uh, this is my first look at Annie. I haven't actually played Annie yet. I've been looking at a lot of other shit. Canopus kick. Oh, that's cool. She's got, like, a fucking Blaz Blue Makoto kick. Cool, cool. Um... So now we get to see the Ultras, and this is what I was really interested in. So we know about Signal Beam. We, kn we knew about that. Cool. And apparently, yeah, you can do it in the air. Awesome. We already knew about that. Does decent damage, too. Because this is, you have to remember, this is with a thing. Star Power, Down Down Kick. So, that's awesome. So that's the early cancel that we saw. What is Photo Bop, I believe, was the other move. The other ender for this. Let's go close, maybe. It's our level 5! That's awesome. That's really cool. Okay. Cool character, cool character. And Gravity's Pillar of Creation. Did we see this all? We did not. That's... Cool. Okay. And a gravity slingshot. That does that does a lot of that's her level three. That does a lot of damage. That's awesome. Where's the Oh kick. I was gonna say, where's the Titan Knuckle? Okay. She has a lot of supers. Holy shit. Okay, so she's a meter character. What the fuck? Uh Okay. Is there a, that's her taunt. There was another one? No 
Okay, cool taunt. Maybe you can do something with that. Um, so that's her kit. She let's let's try to put together some. Oh, there's the. Cool. This hitbox, I believe, was way taller. Nah, I think this was this was the anterior that I saw in the trailer that I was like, whoa. Ah, yep, just what I expected. The fireballs have different frame data depending on how close they hit and if you can link them. If you link medium fireball, you can continue the combo. That's awesome. Holy shit, that's cool. And he's cool. But this is what you guys expected to see, right? It's just an Annie showcase. Uh, we'll, we'll go back to Annie in a bit, but I do want this to serve as uh, an informative video as well. Oh, you can move whatever direction you were moving. That's cool. So, I'm actually going to read the patch notes uh, while we're here, because this is the first time Skullgirls has had balance change in a very long time. I'm not going to go through everything. However, uh, there are a few major changes to the game engine and certain characters that I'm going to go over. Number one, reversal windows. Um, whenever you're knocked down or exiting hit stun. They've increased the amount of invincibility you get. Um, th this is gonna be, like, fucking going over a lot of people's heads. But it's pretty much, it's a lot easier to get out of setups now. They, they wanted to make it easier to get out of setups. Um, the bursts, uh, if you wait too long to burst, uh, you, well, you will keep the amount of undizzy you had when the combo started. So, that's, you know, that's a cool change. Um, they changed the air dash mechanics for Philly and, or, um, oh my god, the, uh, if you punch, you can cancel punches into dashes with Parasol and Philia. But, I want to talk about the major change this patch. There was a single, or two characters, specifically, not too good specifically, uh, I'll, I'll go over the patch notes in depth, but we're gonna cover all the major stuff first. First up is Eliza. I should have put a three-person three team. Eliza got a lot of changes this patch. So first of all, you might notice something a little different. There's blood on the floor. We can collect that blood. So this is Eliza's new character specific mechanic blood is um so let's see i'm gonna read the patch notes here because this is what we do uh any segment attack involving red blood weapons creates blood which flies somewhere behind them 25 drops of blood can be out at once they last for 15 seconds collecting a drop of blood restores uh 200 health to eliza so they restore about like a light punch worth of health not a lot Truthfully, but if you're like a low if you're like a three-man team and you have Eliza as your anchor This makes her a much more potent anchor um, So she can use a lot of her uh, segment combos to gain a lot of health back her taunt uh, This is actually my favorite change because it's a really cool change uh, If you taunt which I have to remember what her taunt is medium punch it collects all blood on screen to you, which is really cool. Uh, they gave a taunt in effect. It hasn't been like that in a long time. Um, the biggest change with Eliza. Also, uh, new moves when you're Sekhmet. Sekhmet can backdash now. Uh, I saw. I showed it there. Sekhmet has an... Uh, what the fuck was it? I, was, I, I did it earlier. Is it like... There we go. You can cancel moves into a backdash as Eliza. Which is pretty cool. Um, Sekhmet has a new uh, ultimate. It's a hit grab that produces a lot of blood and crumples. That's huge. So, another thing. Sekhmet, if you might see here, Sekhmet lo no longer drains meter. Sekhmet is draining my health very slowly. So now, Eliza has to focus on making combos that net gain her health. Pretty much, Sekhmet isn't as, uh, quote-unquote, mindless as it was before. 
it's actually a gamble now to use second because you're now losing a sizable amount of health. Like, if I turn uh, auto heal off, if I make it, like, normal health, um, health, normal, that drains very fast. That's a lot of health that I'm losing from being segment. So, now it's a gamble to be uh, in this form. It's not as easy to just do or throw out in neutral anymore. You actually have to try uh, with... What the fuck? Was it, was it at 100? I think it was. No. Yeah. So, it, it's pretty cool. Um, the longer you stay in this form, the more the uh, health drains. And if, but if you hit the opponent, it'll reset. So, the longer you stay in this form, the, the faster your health drains. But if you hit an opponent, your health drains slower as long as you're hitting them. Uh, if you if you use the segment assists as Eliza, um, it drains the most health. And now, uh, we can show it... Oh, cool. Thanks, Annie. Uh, there we go. Armor... Doing armored moves, or not armored moves, uh, doing, uh, armor break moves, you can now combo Eliza once she's out of segment. You don't have to grab her anymore. Armor breaking moves will now leave her in a comboable state instead of what they usually do, which is awesome. Um, so, th that's cool. That's all the things with, um, Eliza. That was the biggest change with Eliza. So, we're going to keep Annie, because obviously, uh, we're going to do some stuff, but... Annie. Right! They added more color palettes to the game. They added some new ones, I think, but... She has a lot of locked ones, so we're going to use... I like this one, because it's white. I like the, the white dress. Beep up beep. Oh, it's not my save file. I was going to say beep up beep up. So, Robo Fortune now has some, some new stuff. Specifically, uh, Systemic Circuit Breaker, which is, uh, I believe that's the ultimate where she rips her heart out. Let me just make sense. Uh, yeah, Systemic Circuit Breaker. Systemic Circuit Breaker is supposed to be, they made it more offensive other than like a, uh, like a turtle heavy, like, you kind of use it to get people scared to press buttons and then rush them down. It's kind of made to, um... They, they made it so that you now have to... It's more of a risk to use, but the payout is much greater. Also, it's another thing. They made it so you can't instantly attack after doing your double jump as Robo Fortune anymore. To get rid of any double, like, instant over... Uh, instant double overhead shenanigans that she had previously. So. When you're in Systemic Circuit Breaker, you can no longer uh, double jump. And now there's a timer. But, she gets an air dash... She can, she can air dash when she's, um, when in Systemic Circuit Breaker. She can't do that normally. She has no jumping air dash. She has the normal dashes. Uh, now, there's the new art. Um, now if you do this into Magnetic Trap, it won't, uh, fuck, uh, yeah, it won't uh, instantly end the ultra like it used to. Yeah, it'll preserve the timer until the ult's finished. It didn't used to do that. It used to interrupt your ultimate, which sucked. Um, but when you're in Systemic Circuit Breaker, your zoning is a lot stronger. As you can see, the beam bounces now. Hold on, let's get out of Systemic Circuit Breaker just so I can... So yeah, as you saw, the light beam bounces and she also recovers faster, meaning she can throw more beams out faster. That's a huge change. Um, let's see. The timer counts down at half speed as long as you're attacking somebody. And now, my favorite change for Robo Fortune. Head drones have another use. During Systemic Circuit Breaker, say like, ah, oh, you know, not in this example, but like, ah, oh, I don't have enough time to do what I want to do. You can sacrifice heads and a chunk of health to expand the timer. I believe it's, um, yeah, 
750 damage and one head, but they give you six seconds and the timer's maxed out at 70. New animations, really cool feature. Um, so, really cool shit also, depending on the strength of the button, one head uh, with light, two heads with medium, and three heads with heavy, which is very cool. Uh, she also gets a meter gain penalty for each head she consumes. So you can't just, like, keep using this. Um, but it makes all of her... All of her light and medium laser beams are much stronger when you're in this form. That's a crazy change. I like that change a lot. Um, that's all the reworks and, like, the new shit. Um, because I, I pretty much just want to make this, like, a general change thing. So that's Eliza. That's, um, Robo Fortune. So now we're going to go through the general changes. As I said, the Philia Parasol thing with the dashes. You can now dash after pressing, uh, punch. Cerebella. Um, diamonds are forever. Uh, if you're attacking during the animation, it is no longer unblockable. You can now block it on reaction if you're attacking. Uh, they made it a bit slower, and it doesn't become active as fast. Um, the the jump elbow will always go through its startup um, before being active, because there was a bug where it could come out in a single frame. You could instant air do it and get free overheads that led into full combos. Uh, jump heavy punches force damage scaling has been removed, which is pretty crazy. Um, and she has better Oki against... Peacock and Valentine, because they were characters that traditionally got thrown very far after her command grab. Not anymore. Uh, so that's Cerebella. Eliza, they changed some of her frame data. Osiris Spiral now gains more meter. The second hit of Crouch me or Standing Medium Kick is a restance instead of a knockdown, which is a great change. And Crouch Medium Punch uh, is better on block and on hit. They made Crouch Medium Punch less scary to throw out a neutral. Uh, as I said, Sekhmet has the new super and the new backflip, and the blood mechanic, Peacock. Um, Lonesome Lenny, if, uh, Lonesome Lenny, the big bomb that Peacock can drop, while he's active, uh, and Peacock is the lead character, so not an assist ultra or something, uh, Peacock will have less meter gain, so that's pretty, that's pretty neat. Uh, when you're using assists as Peacock, you can, the heavy teleport will no longer cross up, which is big. That's really big for her pressure. Uh, Gunblade, uh, medium, or not Gunblade, um, wait, yeah, Gunblade. Um, medium bang is much more negative on block, which is great, because it was a DP that was only negative nine on block, and Peacock already had a bunch of really plush shit in her kit. Um, yeah, you can... They, they made it impossible to low profile. Uh, George, the walking George, has a better hitbox. Um, and Peacock's air throw leaves your opponent closer for easier combo conversions. Um, all hits of danger for Robo Fortune, because we didn't see... We didn't do all the Robo Fortune. We covered the changes. So danger, I believe, if I remember correctly, danger is... Yeah this every hit of danger um is now or is it this one yeah uh every hit of the danger moves uh danger where is it danger light every hit of this is now a knockdown because there was back in the day you could get like hit by an assist in the first hit and get punished because the move was still active uh now every hit knocks down so if they get knocked out of it somehow, you know, like a Lonesome Lenny setup or something, they will be comboable in most scenarios. Uh, this, more hit stun, and it actually deals more hit stun to assists. That new flash when people are covering, that's the reversal window, by the way. That's that uh, four frame window where you can invincibly press buttons. Um, and grounded Theonite Beam. You might have been able to notice this if you've played Schoolgirls. This and this are much wider than they used to be. Which is ridiculous. Just the jumping medium and the cr uh, and the standing light. They're much stronger. Systemic Circuit Breaker, we already covered that. And Warranty Extension, which is the new uh, ultimate she can do. 
And that's pretty much every major change this patch. Um, we're going to do one more thing. Uh, we're going to uh, change the stage because, yes, they added No Man's Land and the sound stage to Skullgirls proper. Uh, no Man's Land is a Skullgirls mobile stage, uh, and this is obviously any stage. So we're just going to take a look around the stage because there's some cool stuff. Uh, there were a few cute Easter eggs we noticed a while back. I don't know if we can turn off the HUD. There we go. Um, but I believe uh, on the top, you can see, where is she? Uh, maybe not. Strange. Uh, I know sometimes you can see Peacock really fast grab. Awesome. That's also uh, Ajna's mom's axe from Indivisible right there, which is pretty neat. Cute little reference. Um, and I believe that's it. That's every change this patch. So you guys, you like what you saw, remember to like, comment, subscribe, dislike it if you dislike it. This was me, Melting Explosive Bloodily. Play some Skullgirls, y'all. See you later.